If you were a kid in the 90s or just into retro gaming, chances are you have played the fantastic Lemmings game released for Amiga in 1991. The game was developed by DMA Design and published by Cygnosis. I spent countless hours with this game on our Amiga back in the days. The main objective of the game is to guide a bunch of non-stopping lemmings to a safe exit. A number of obstacles must be passed, and at the same time you have to make sure the lemmings don't walk into death. And yes, they do that all the time. You get a number of 8 different skills to enable the lemmings to overcome the obstacles. This project is all about the lemming blockers. Blockers are used to stop the other lemmings from walking into a certain death, or simply to keep them away from the working lemmings. The blockers are true heroes, and they actually sacrifice themselves for their friends. The only way to remove a lemming blocker is to send him to the lemmings paradise. So it's about time to give them some well-deserved attention. I was using a lemming gif on my snapchat, oh, no. and the idea to 3D print a moving lemming blocker suddenly came to mind. I tried to ignore it as I have tons of other projects lined up, but I just could not get the idea out of my head. I used Premiere Pro to find the head and foot speed by counting frames. The clip has 30 frames per second, so I found that the head moves a full period in one second and the foot moves up and down four times a second. I aim to drive both head and foot with one single motor running at a fixed RPM, so no microcontrollers, stepper motors or other fancy stuff. As I want to keep this blocker running at my desk, it would be nice with a decent noise level. Regular DC motors tend to be a bit noisy, and I'm not convinced it will last very long either, with the brushes and all that stuff. So I hope a better solution is this one, a microwave turntable motor. It's a one-phase synchronous motor running at 220 AC, funny motor that don't have a fixed rotational direction, and a lot of play in its gears. However, it barely makes any sound, and I hope it will run for ages. It's only 4 RPM, so I will need to gear it up. I decided to start with the foot move first, so I need to translate rotation into up and down movement. First thing that came to mind were to use a crankshaft, sliding the foot up and down. But somehow I got another idea that would be even simpler to build, by using magnets. The idea was to place an even number of magnets in a circular pattern alternating between north and south pole. By placing a magnet in the foot just above the rotating magnet disc should make the foot move up and down as the magnets would attract and repel each other. I printed a simple piece to test out ID and it seems to work. Just a bit noisy. But hey, that might be fixed by some foamy material under the foot or something. Next up, the head needs to move 180 degrees back and forth. I first tried this linkage solution, but that would not give me a fully 190 degrees. So I imported some gears from the MacMaster car catalog in Fusion, which by the way is an awesome source for all kinds of parts you may need in your project. Most of the time you get the step file, so modifying the model to your needs is no problem. So after some time in Fusion I ended up with this, and I was quite sure I nailed it. Since the head should look to the side every second, the magnet wheel needs to rotate once per second, that is 60 RPM. And as the wheel has 8 magnets, the foot will move up and down 4 times a second. Sweet! Then I geared up the motor from 4 RPM to 60 RPM in 2 stages with gears. Let's go. Okay, so I printed and built this thing, and ran into some issues. 
All the play and backlash in the motor gears ends up acting like a spring when any friction in the system is met. So tension is built up to a certain point and suddenly released, making the movement very uneven and choppy. Adding the magnets to this of course makes the whole thing even worse. I had to apply a fixed braking force, like my finger, to even things out a bit. I made a new version with a thicker magnet wheel to move the north poles further away from the foot and then reducing the magnet force, but still no good. Due to this issue and the noise level of this solution, I decided to ditch the magnets and go back to the crankshaft solution. It's so easy to get demotivated when hitting issues like this, but it always helps to wipe out some lemmings. While feeling a lot better, I made the new crankshaft version. I have to admit I'm breaking the requirements here, as I ended up lowering the foot speed to 2 up and downs per second instead of 4. I hope I'm able to accept that when fully assembled. In addition, I got yet another magnet ID. I will insert a metal washer inside this middle gear, and place magnets below it. I hope this will produce an even braking force and prevent that choppy uneven motion. I built a test of this version and it seems to run fine. It's time to build a complete blocker. It works. However, it sounds like my dad's old harvester. And that's cozy and all that, but I think I'll go mad listening to this while working. But the worst part is the foot. It's just too slow. Please hang on, I'll make a fast food version.
now take a look at that i like it still noisy but a lot better than last time and the foot oh yes A quick warning in the end, this motor gets quite hot after a while in use, just see how my proto mat deforms of the heat. Luckily I can't see any deformation on the printed pet G parts. Thanks a lot to the guys in DMA Design for giving us this awesome game. And also a big thank you to Tim Wright aka Cold Storage for letting me use his fantastic music.